<laughs> cut, cut, cut. He's smiling like that is not a photo. Cut, cut. <laughs> Alright, let's just All right. hop into it. All right. All right, let's just stop Hello. Welcome back to my channel. We have a special guest here today. Today we are doing a coffee tour. We are stopping at five different coffee shops. I did my due diligence and read some articles. I just Googled best coffee shops in LA. And of course, Thrillist, Eater LA, and Time, Time Out. Out came up and I took five different coffee shops that pretty much showed up on all three of those articles and that's what the places we're gonna go to today and I brought Maureen cuz she's a it's my favorite favorite food favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite food group I'm passionate <laughs> about coffee she is and I only drink oat milk lattes and I need someone that knows what black coffee should taste like so what we're gonna do today is we are gonna get their most popular drip coffee and we are going to get a vanilla oat milk latte from each of these places and we are going to rank them on a scale from one to ten all right come along for the ride we're going to be <laughs> super super caffeinated <laughs> but this is we're doing this for you guys people are going to okay. be watching this vlog and be like they have no idea yeah what okay full about. disclosure full disclosure we are we don't know anything about coffee <laughs> i don't need the yeah. coffee heaters coming on here like we are two normal gals not coffee connoisseurs. <laughs> not coffee connoisseurs. We just drink coffee every day. Yeah. This is just for the average average person that's just looking to have like a nice coffee when they come into town, you know? That's it. Coffee connoisseurs just don't watch this. <laughs> yeah. Do your own thing. <laughs> If you like a bright, like fruity type of coffee, I think I think it would be a popular choice. Okay. What would you rate it? Out of ten. You can do decimals. Honestly, it's really good. I don't want to blow it up for the first one, but I would give it. I'm not walking through that. Like an eight. Solid eight, okay. which is pretty good. Yes. So. Um, I'll say... Right? It's pretty good. That's good. And I don't drink... It's very, like, light. It's light, light and it's, like, coffee. fruity. So it makes it kind of feel kind of sweeter. It's good. Okay. Time for my favorite. Oh, that's so good. It's also very light, I feel like. Okay. So they don't do any like flavored syrups. They only do simple syrup. I prefer my lattes a little bit more stronger. Does that make sense? Like it, is, the coffee. it is pretty light in terms of the flavor. I think the big thing that I noticed is when I drink a latte, I expect it to be a little bit thicker. Yeah. Whereas this feels like it has almond milk versus oat <laughs> oh, milk, milk in it, you know? <laughs> I think this one wins for go-getter, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know? I think this is where the I'll hot coffee definitely shines. For the I would say I would rank this latte like a, a 6 out of 10. Okay, I give it a 5.9. Okay. <laughs> On to the next place. Can we have a corn? Yeah, it's been around a long time. Okay. We're at Go Get Him Tiger, but we have to do our own personal review for the blueberry cornbread Bro. that I needed to get because I was starving. It's fire. Dude, fire. It's so fire. Usually I expect cornbreads to be pretty dry, you know, but this one's it's so moist. The blueberry to bread ratio is impeccable. impeccable. I mean, look at the color. The blueberries are wet. <laughs> anyway, you should come here just for the blueberry muffin. Hopefully it doesn't sell out. It was way too loud in there. Uh, we came back to the car to 
do our little review on Madu and we did have some already so we're just gonna reiterate what we said okay so it's burnt for sure I feel like it's nutty there's definitely not a lot of like floral it's or like, like nutty and like chocolatey yeah it's trying to be nutty and chocolatey the most noticeable thing is that it tastes like a slightly upgraded version of the mixed coffee that you get at the grocery store. Mm. Like, Folgers? Is that what it's called? Folgers. <laughs> <laughs> Folgers, yes. Folgers. Okay. I get hints of that in the aftertaste especially. Yeah. The aftertaste, so. I just get burnt. It like sticks on your tongue for a long time. Like we walked from it's thick the coffee shop back to the car and that was like a five minute walk and I still, even before we had that sip, it's just on my tongue. Yeah. That drip is like a four out of 10 for me. I definitely wouldn't go back for it. I'll, I will say the vibe is impeccable. Yes. But the coffee was pretty disappointing. What I would give it a 4.68 out of 10. Okay. Latte looks promising, right? <laughs> It's a vanilla oat latte flavored water. Yes. There's no hints of coffee in that. Like, I don't taste coffee in that. Are we being too critical right now, though? No. I, I think that just the ratios are slightly off. So you can't taste the coffee. I do taste a little bit of, you know, the oat milk flavor. No vanilla is coming through. It tastes, unfortunately, just like cold oat milk. Yes. I give that oat milk a... I give it a, a four, four out, of, out 10. of 10. Yeah. Four out of, four 10. out of 10. Unfortunately, because I know a lot of people like it. Yeah, I would go for the vibes. I would go for the vibes. How do you do this? I'm just, it's mental. Look at all the steam. <laughs> I love it. Hang out. Is it too hot? No, it's fine. You drink the four. <laughs> it's you so hot. You drink the four bubbles. <laughs> Drip coffee. Yeah, Isaac, can we do a zoom in on the? You see the bubbles? She drank four of those bubbles. <laughs> okay. I actually think this is really fire. Okay. Not as fruity, I feel like, as Go Get a Tiger Strip, but it does have. It's more nutty and more chocolatey, like dark chocolate. I think that this. It's on burn. This is what. Baru was inspiring to me. Like, I feel like this is Mars coffee done right. Okay. You know, it's nutty, it's it's very layered. Um, you can feel or you can taste like the chocolate coming through. Okay. And it is rich. Like, yeah, it is. there's depth in the flavor. It doesn't go away after like the first. Why are there so <laughs> many? Really tasty of Okay. It doesn't go away after it touches your tongue. Yes. The flavor, like you can, you can taste the flavor throughout the sip. I think that the ratios are perfect. Like yes. this is a really, really good cup of drip coffee. Okay. Five I would rate that drip an eight point five out of ten. I think I'm gonna go with a nine. So now we are having a Madagascar vanilla bean ice milk latte. It's fire. And we do get our lattes half sweet, so it's not too sweet and overpowering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give that a 6 out of 10. It's too syrupy, and the syrup doesn't taste like... It tastes very artificial to me. And I feel like it's heavier, once again, on the milk side. Not as... Like, the ratio is a little off to me. I appreciate how creamy it is. Mm -hmm. Because I think that even if you look at the color, it's a little bit like, you can tell that there's coffee in it. Whereas with the other ones, it was like white. too light. And I, I appreciate that you can taste the coffee in it. 
something's off about the syrup flavor. I the think. syrup flavor, yeah. I mean, I think it's overpowering. The latte. I would honestly give it like 6.5. See you at the five. We feel like this is more promising than this the other This looks a little promising. Something about the gradient, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Let's do the drip first. Okay. Is it too hot? It's hot, yeah. <laughs> There's just not a lot of depth. Is that fair to say? <laughs> <laughs> it's a more simple coffee for yes. sure. It's there's floral notes, there's like fruit notes. It's not as intense as Go Get Em. So I feel like it's similar to Go Get Em Tiger, but if you're looking for something that's a little bit more mild, I would give it a seven out of 10. Okay, I was gonna say seven out of 10. I go. Mmm. Oh my God, I'm excited. So far, best wow. latte we've had all best day. Best latte that we've had, definitely. It's creamy, it's nutty, it's, it's rich, oaty, yeah, and not too sweet. Mm -hmm. That this, this is, is really good, good this latte. Is good. This is a nine out of ten. You can really taste the coffee, but it's not overpowering. The balance is. It's really good. It's like very the even at the end. Mm -hmm. What do you rate it? Did you already rate it? Mm -hmm. I said nine out of ten. I think it's a nine out of 10. Okay. If I'm craving an oat milk latte, like mm -hmm. this is what I would want. Mm -hmm. This is what I would want. This is satisfying. Last stop, stereoscope. <sighs> I wanna go We're home. almost there. <laughs> got the huge drip coffee and a vanilla oat milk latte. Drip coffee is what kind of coffee? Bolivian. Hmm. It smells so florally. It's not like... Yeah, it does. Like, floral, some hints of chocolate. Okay. I think that's the best drip coffee we've had today for sure the best drip coffee, in my opinion, that we've had today. I would give that drip coffee a nine out of 10. I think I would give it an eight out of 10. Hmm. So you like the Go Get Him better? I think I liked Go Get Him Tiger. I liked Sybil, I'll say it again. I think mm. Sybil had the best black coffee, but this okay. is a solid cup. It's a really good cup of coffee. Okay. To me, that is a perfect latte. Wow, it's that is a ten really out of ten good. for me. Solid ten out of ten for me. I agree. I would give this a ten out of ten, and I think that the difference between this one versus Kumquat coffee that was mm -hmm. also really good mm -hmm. is the taste of the coffee really comes through. Yes, you don't taste just the coffee. It's like you taste the flavors of the coffee. I agree, and then the creaminess at the end. Mm -hmm. This is the darkest yeah. latte we've had. Yes. 10 out of 10 vanilla oat milk Definitely latte. the best coffee that we've had today, or yeah. best latte. That was a good way to end the day, because it, it was kind of like a... Stagnant, and then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Final verdict. I have decided that out of all of the coffee shops that we went to today, Stereoscope Coffee is probably my favorite coffee shop. Overall, like in terms of an average between both the drip and the latte and the overall vibes and everything, I would say Stereoscope is good. Really think about it. Your opinion of coffee is going on the internet forever. I know. No pressure. Final verdict. I would recommend Sybil Coffee as my final choice. Okay. You know, it wasn't the best latte that I had, but it was the best 
drip coffee that I've had today. Okay. And I also think that the latte wasn't bad. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Okay. Special shout out to Stereoscope, best latte by far of the day. But Civil Coffee wins hands down for black coffee. Okay. For the drip. I think that was successful. We really tried our best. We did, guys. We went to so many places for you to make this video and make your life easier. So I Maybe hope you enjoy it. So. <laughs> Who wants to hang out? <laughs> All right, cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave some comments below if you feel like there's some coffee shops maybe we would have missed and maybe I'll make more go with me on another <laughs> another coffee, coffee tour. Shop. Number Part two. two. Yeah. Okay, well, peace out. See you guys later.